All right, friends, today we are gathered for a pretty exciting video. I'm doing some PvP, which honestly, I haven't really done a whole lot of in New World lately because things have been a bit stale on the PvP side of things. But right now in this video, we are on the test server. As you can see up in the top right, we are on the PTR build. Uh, and the reason behind that is because today we are testing out cross-server queuing. So we're actually going to test uh, queuing up for Outpost Rush. Well, we're already, we've already queued up. We've got a game pop. And we're playing with players from other servers. This is the first time, to my knowledge, that you are able to queue with players from other servers for, like, basically anything. As you can see up in the top left there, uh, we have Bag and Sandworm, which is me. And then we have Young Crown, uh, Upset Salad, Faruza, PTR and Astrolo Testa. And Astrolo Testa and Young Crown have a special icon next to their name. And that is because they are queuing from another server. So there's two servers right now on the PTR. Uh, we are on US PTR 1. And then there's also US East PTR 2. So two different servers. And through, you know, the power of wizardry and, and Amazon's dedication, it looks like they've actually got it working. And we're able to queue with what I assume are players from uh, PTR test server 2. Now this is a pretty big deal even if you guys aren't into PvP this uh, functionality is going to be brought into other game modes uh, and other aspects of New World in the future including Dungeon Finder at 3v3 Arena is two things that they've mentioned that they want to bring it to and who knows uh, anything else in the future as well. For me I think one of the big problems that New World has had since the beginning is the limited amount of people we can get on a server. You know when New World first came out we had nearly a million people all playing at the same time which is insane yet you could only have 2,000 people on a server at any given time. And I think that means that if Amazon wanted everybody that was online on the game to be in a server, they would have to have like 500 different servers or something like that. Maybe I uh, need to double check my maths on that one. But either way, that's a lot of servers. And if they did create all those servers and then some people leave, suddenly you've got a bunch of empty servers and it, it's a bit of a feels bad. So ideally, you would have all the players on the same server together, but New World isn't really built out for that. But the next, next best thing is to just have players be able to queue together, uh, you know, from different servers, but they can play in the same environment. And that's what we get to see here. In fact, even it looks like down in the bottom left, chat is working. We have some sort of like cross server chat. So yeah, you can't invite while on this world. So I don't know, I wonder which exact server this Outpost Rush game is playing on now, if it's somewhere in between. Now I am using a bit of a weird build in case anybody's just like looking down at my build and like Baggins, alright, this is all good and well, but what is your build that you're running right now? This is what people call the Fat Gandalf, so I had somebody use this build against me in Outpost Rush a while ago, and it was pretty disgusting, so I uh, copied it myself. It's a sword and shield with a fire staff, full heavy armor, and we go in with uh, 300 constitution, 200 intelligence. And it's been pretty fun actually, let's see if we can get it in action here, hopefully without dying. So we're gonna try and leap into the back line. And then go for a stun. It is, okay, it's really laggy <laughs> because we're on the East Coast server and I'm playing on, uh, I'm playing from the UK, of course, from uh, from EU. Let's see, we'll, we'll try and go back into the back line here. I don't know if it's gonna be extra laggy because of the cross server queuing. Um, one thing that I think this is gonna be pretty good for when it comes to PVP is uh, hopefully, I don't think it's implemented right now, but hopefully there will be some sort of matchmaking or ranked that could happen as a result, because the more players that you have on a server, uh, the more likely it is that you can have, like, I don't know, some sort of actual matchmaking system, uh, which I don't believe we can have now. Am I dead? I think I'm dead. Oh, goodness. It's not looking good for me here. I'm gonna hold up my block and hopefully find a heal from somebody. Uh, making it back, making it back. Okay, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Also, I think I should probably replace this with gemstone dust. This is elemental damage absorption. Oak flesh bomb is physical damage absorption. If you guys haven't seen these, because it does surprise, you know, I get people on Twitch chat asking me, what the heck is that consumable? Gemstone dust, you can smash up, I think it's uncut gems to make um, at the armoring station. Or is it the stone cutting? And then oak flesh bomb you make at the armoring station. And uh, they give you uh, damage resistance to elemental or physical uh, let's just hold on. I didn't realize I didn't heal up here. Let's get back a little bit. Okay, now we can fight this guy, I think. Let's see if we can do some uh, impressive damage numbers here. It looks like instead I am just going to get stomped, though. Uh oh, I'm dead. Oh, save me, teammates. Save me. <laughs> okay, we're not dead. We're not dead. Yeah, the advantage of this build is like you can take a lot of damage. 
Um, you can also hold up your shield to give the 30% damage reduction as well. Um, but then you can actually dish out a surprising amount of damage with the uh, flamethrower as well. So I'll run through the gear sort of uh, when we get a moment if anybody's interested to see what exactly we're rocking here. Um, but yeah, we're basically letting flamethrower do the, the heavy lifting here. Um, so, you know, a bit of a no-skill build, but in my defense, it's uh, it's past midnight right now in the UK. It's well past my bedtime, but Amazon organized this, like, cross-server queuing event, um, like, late, you know, for, for EU people, so we had to just make do. I think they're doing another one tomorrow, so I'm not sure when this video is going to go out, but there is going to be one on Saturday, which is a bit more EU-friendly. I think it's happening at 9 p.m. EU time. Oh, doing some numbers. Numbers are happening. Let's uh, block here. Going for a few swings with the sword. You don't typically want to be attacking with the sword, but... Shield rush this guy. Flamethrower. Firestorm. Uh, oh yeah, the Corrupted Portal as well. So this is another thing that's changed. I think we already made a video talking about this, but in Outpost Rush they made a few other changes as well to the game mode. Uh, where you get like a... There's this Brute event now where you can minions spawn and then you can farm them and then it's whoever can hand in oh no in fact i don't even think that it's just you just have to like spam the uh the i don't know the little stone table or whatever and if you can hold down interact long enough without anybody damaging you then you get the uh you get the brute token basically so it's a tricky one oh, we didn't get that again fantastic Let's see if we can change after him the ptr edgelord okay now we get where i'm just running into a lot of players there Need to be careful using my uh, stamina so aggressively here as I am. Alright, let's go. And then hold the block a little bit more. Leaping strike this guy. Alright, he did define stance. So he's got a lot of damage reduction. Oh my god, somebody just used their new heart rate on me. That was a uh, the Devourer heart rate. I was thinking about using that one myself, but it made sense since this build was all about doing fire damage to just go with good old Firestorm. Um, looking for a heal here. Somebody did, okay, somebody stuck a beacon to me, I think. Is this a friendly beacon? There's a lot of players over there. I think we should probably just get out. Another cool thing as well about Outpost Rush is you can see where all your teammates are now because we do have uh, raid groups also in as well. So really looking forward to this patch going live. If anybody's got uh, questions in the comments down below about when this we're going to actually get to see this, let's go for a shield dash if I can. And then we're going to go Leaping Strike, get out of there. Got a burnout in a second. Somebody's really low up there if we can get him. Just keep dashing back for now. Keep covering grounds. Keep on going. Nice, we got a sicker ground here we can fight in. Get some damage on this guy. Get the pillar of fire if I can. No, I'm just getting beaten up now. Shield dash, stun him. Big flamethrower damage here. Holding down Q, holding down Q. I'm not even holding it down, I just tapped it once. Oh, big fire stomp. Leap and strike this guy. I'm good on health. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. We're good. We can go in aggressive. So, yeah, like I say, I typically haven't been doing too much PvP. What I usually find, and, and I don't know, it, views shouldn't be everything, right? But it is an important metric when you're making videos on YouTube, is people typically don't really enjoy PvP content that much, at least on my channel. Maybe it's because I'm bad. Um, you know, I, would, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I'm okay. I'm, I'm certainly not like a PvP aficionado. And this build isn't really doing too much to demonstrate, you know, my high skill ability uh, but occasionally we do see people in the in the comments asking for like pvp comment uh, pvp builds and stuff like that so if you guys enjoy the look of this build and you'd like me to do a deep dive on it i think it is going to be one that will work well in season two as well um then we could we could make a video on it if you guys are interested all right let's uh let's see going in this guy here uh let's go for the shield bash stun pop a health potion shield rush this guy uh try and burn out never mind he's dead but yeah, we could, we could do a build guide on this if you guys uh, would be interested. It, like I say, it's not my own creation. It is just something that we saw somebody else using. But I have made a few tweaks to it here and there uh, for what I find to be particularly fun. Um, and yeah, you just have the ability to output like quite a lot of damage. But also have some CC and quite a bit of movement and survivability. It's just, it's got a, like a little bit of everything. And it's uh, it's been pretty fun to play with. So uh, Let's keep going. We've got the leaping strike here. Oh, it hit the, the thing instead. I am getting baited here. I'm gonna die. Oh, that guy's so low, but if I chase him, I think I'm just gonna get myself killed. We'll just back off for now. 
Um, I don't know if I was, uh, I think I interrupted myself there, by the way. We've been doing like a continuous dialogue right now. I don't know how Jack is going to edit this one because I've never really should have talking, but um, they, this season and all the features that we're seeing here, so cross server queuing and then the other videos, if you guys haven't seen with, um, with the raid, the sandworm raid and, and uh, transmog and taking a lot of battle pass and all that stuff, that is coming on the 6th of July currently. That's when they've got it set to release, 6th of July, so here we go. Oh, uh, we could charge this guy and then leaping strike. Missed it. Cool. All right, we get the shield dash. Some damage in here. Firestorm. Pop a regen potion. Leaping strike. Almost got him. Yes! <laughs> I think we might have been getting shot at there from the side. I don't know. Uh, it was a little bit. Could have been cleaner, but it also, you know, we also could have lost. So there is that. Uh, let's leaping strike this guy. Never mind. Okay, I'm just going to go towards Baroness. Make sure we win this one. Baroness now has like a uh, fog of war sort of wall in it, so you can't snipe it. Because what you could previously do is sit here with like a bow or a musket or even a fire staff, and I could just like attack in there, but now there's like a wall blocking it, so. I think this goes pretty good though, because it means that people can't interact with the wall, because you have to like channel it to interact. So I could just actually stand here doing damage to this guy, and he won't be able to make it in. Okay, no, he did make it in. Because you have to you have to channel down your use button. Oh, he's going for it. Uh oh. We gotta get him killed. We gotta kill this guy. No, he's going for the detonate! Oh my god, okay, we killed him. See, so yeah, it does mean that you can have better control over it, but still, if somebody's going to sneak in like that and you're not going to bother deal with being the, dealing with that person, then it could be bad. Thanks for feedback. Make sure to leave feedback on the Discord. I mean, I don't really know what feedback there is to give. It's working, and uh, it's cool to see. I think, you know, taking this system and implementing some sort of ranked or matchmaking hopefully is what Amazon have planned in the future, because I think that would be great. That'd be one of my like common complaints that I experience with Outpost Rush, especially playing on uh, the Barry server, maybe it's the same with other servers, is uh, it's pretty it's pretty unbalanced. Like uh, usually one team just massively stomps the other. You know, like a uh, red team uh, will just be like, you know, way, way ahead of the other team. We're doing okay on, this, on the scoreboard right now. But yeah, typically one team will just be like outperforming the other pretty significantly. They also made some changes to Outpost Rush. I realize I'm just interrupting myself here where standing on the point is actually much more valuable. I think you get a much higher score by standing on the point now, which is good to see because, you know, that's something that's definitely needed. The uh, actually like standing on the objective and holding it should be like valuable. It should be something that is rewarded rather than just doing damage and like getting kills, which is previously how it's been. So the shield bash. Like, that's, this is the extent of our damage here. It's just slowly sort of whittling them down, really, so. Uh, we do have a leaping strike in a second. We'll go for it. Shield rush. Okay, is that a stamina? That's good news. We're gonna get him. Maybe not. Shield it, and then that one. He's so low. Yes, try and block my- No! <laughs> my kill! <laughs> uh, unfortunate. Well, we I think we would have had that kill if it just went for like three seconds longer. Well, yeah, I don't know. That was a look at cross server outpost rush, guys. I don't know if you would really be able to tell that it was cross server outpost rush other than if I didn't, you know, intro it at the video. What are all these as well? What is this? We got a- Crossed swords, a bunch of rewards there. Um, that was, yeah, that was cross server outpost rush, and that was a look at also the fat Gandalf build. If you haven't seen it before, it's pretty fun. Like I say, if enough people are interested, let me know in the comments, and we can make a build guide for it for season two. It is one of my, uh, you know, uh, favorite sort of PvP builds that I've been running right now. It's not like super OP, but uh, you know, if you want to like do damage and also have some CC and some escape and some like survivability and you know just to generally be pretty annoying it feels pretty fun for that especially when you get a sacred ground under your feet um so yeah once again i'll just show you guys real quick you now on the test server and coming to live 
on the 6th of July, Season 2, unless it's delayed, we will have uh, this thing here. So Crossworld means that you'll be playing together with players from all worlds within your region. This can help shorten wait times to find a match. Things to note, when you see the icon next to the, uh, their name, it means they're from another world. While in a cross-world match, several social functions will be disabled. Yeah, so you can't trade from people for other servers. Um, it also said the Outpost Rush wins leaderboard is now regional. So, yeah, look forward to this coming to Dungeon Finder um, or Expedition Group Finder at some point in the future. I think not until winter, sadly. Also 3v3 as well. And uh, fingers crossed this is going to pave the way for ranked. Um, I do have some questions as to whether, the, you know, is this going to work with Fresh Start and Legacy? Will Legacy and Fresh Start be able to queue together? What do you guys think about that? Should Legacy and Fresh Start be able to queue against each other? Um, if you are one of the rare people who make it all the way to the end of the video, thank you so much for being here. Let me know in the comments down below that you made it to the end. And uh, as always, the old like and subscribe is much appreciated, friends. Uh, but that being said, I will catch you guys all in the next video.